Does the name Karzak mean anything to you? Sounds like a comic book villain to me, son. He's the man behind Condor, and the rat who kidnapped Nico. You know, the first time I met you, I was deeply impressed with your naive simplicity. I said to Pearl, if we ever had kids, I would have wanted a boy like George. But I underestimated you, son. Did you know that traditional music is illegal in Caramonte? Is that so? Seems reasonable to me. No, really. The leader of the band in the square has been in prison just because of the music he played. I don't know who you've been talking to, but that fella, Miguel, he's an agitator. What's the real reason the musician was in prison? Handed out subversive literature at the mines. That so-called general was waiting for Miguel when he got back into town. Marched him off to jail at gunpoint on a charge of inciting a riot. I spoke to Pearl earlier. Yeah? Did she mention that we had a kind of falling out? Yes, she did. She'll get over it. Did you drive all the way down here? Hell no. Pearl did the driving while I followed the maps. The way she handled the wheel, you'd think she'd been trucking half her life. Why did you bring a huge truck like that? George, I'm on a top secret classified mission for Uncle Sam. This truck is a rolling bomb. 400 pounds of nitrate fertilizer with a plastic initiator. They'll hear the bang in China. Gee, I'm really looking forward to this. Would you like a biscuit, Dwayne? Oh, no. Those gourmet dog snacks bring me out in a rash. You've tried them? They were on special offer. Pearl bought a whole crate. When I asked her if she was thinking of keeping a dog, too, she just laughed. Would you like to borrow my lucky piece of coal, Dwayne? What's so lucky about it? Well, we made it to Cuaramonte in one piece. When you've been here a few days, you won't look on that as luck. Do you know anything about a shipping company called Condor Transglobal? Sure I do. You have to get up pretty early to catch Dwayne with his pants down. What? You beat me to it? Condor Transglobal is all wound up. Seems like my investigations scared them off. What do you think of these panties, Dwayne? Lord, hot stuff, George. You buy those for your girl? No, a guy we know in Paris bought them for her. Oh, you're a threesome then. Why are you looking at me like that, George? Forget it. Hi, I'm George Stobart. What can you tell me about the mining company? The general closed down one of their mines after the explosion. Lots of folks lost their lives. I was lucky. I only lost my legs. Can you tell me anything about this stone? That's obsidian. It's a volcanic rock which has cooled so fast that yeah, yeah. Look, I'm not interested in geology. You're not? I suppose you want to know about the carved picture on it. That's right. Then the guy you should talk to is the professor. He was here a while ago. Do you recognize the design on this label? Why, sure. That's the Condor Transglobal Shipping Company logo. Do they have an office in Cuaramonte? No, but they ship out from here. That's what I thought. Did you see the ship with the Condor flag? Mm, no. But the dock is just the other side of the square. 
Might as well be the other side of the moon. Have you heard about the eclipse of the sun? Sure, I'm having a party to celebrate it. Drop by. Really? Sure. Plenty of food, plenty of wine, and everyone's invited, except the general. What do you think of these panties? Awesome. You wear them? Uh, no. Someone sent them to my girlfriend. Thoughtful. Do you know what this statue represents? Should do. I used to carve things like that to sell to tourists. But it scared people around here, so I stopped. Who's a friendly looking guy? I had nothing more to say. It was Nico, wearing clothes I'd never seen before. <laughs> Labano tells me he's been seeing a lot of you. We meet sometimes for lunch, a drink. After you'd gone back to the States, I was pretty lonely, you know. Lonely? You must have been desperate. Couldn't you just visit the zoo or something? <laughs> Would you like a biscuit? Gourmet dog? Have you been eating those things, Georges? Sure, they're great. Guess what this is. Go on, guess. It's wrought iron, probably from a chimney stack on an old stove. Uh, well, I suppose it could be. How did she know that? My grandfather used to work in a foundry. Take a look at this, Nico. That's disgusting, Charles. Why are you carrying it around with you? I don't know. I just can't seem to part with it. Take a look at this. An eclipse of the sun. Why the sudden interest in astronomy? I found the cutting in Ubier's house. Apparently, it's only visible from Central America. Take a look at this. Mon Dieu! Where did you get that kind of money? It's not mine. I found that statement at Ubier's house. Do you have any theories about this stone? I think that design represents a dog, a Mexican dog. So, this is the sacred Chihuahua stone? Sheesh. With the mine closed down, there'll be no one around to observe your excavations. Ah, I have visitors. Just remember what I told you, General. There's really no need to make a martyr out of that man. I'm sorry to keep you waiting, Senor. Welcome to Quarmonte. Thanks. My name's George Stobart from California. But what is this? An angel come down to Earth. Nicole Collard. Enchanté, mon général. Pardon me, senorita, but 
I couldn't help myself. Uh, look, we'd like to ask you a few questions. You've come to the right place, senor. Uh, tourist information. General Graciento, at your service. 